Today, we are going to learn how to create templates in OneNote, helping you be more productive and consistent in the workplace. Hey, my name's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Let's nerd out. All right, here we are in OneNote. And the first thing that we are going to do is head up to the View tab on the ribbon and select Paper Size. This is where on the right hand side, we have some different options for page sizes. So depending on your usage as well as orientation and margins, then you have a ton of flexibility here to customize. I'm going to go ahead and select the defaults. Staying on that view tab of the ribbon, we are going to select page color, and this is where we can define background colors. So if you want blue to be meeting notes, if you want projects to be teal, then you have a ton of options here, but I would recommend sticking with these lighter toned colors, and we will learn more about that later in the video. Staying on the view tab, we are going to now add some ruled lines, and depending on your use, you may want to actually include some lines, but when I'm creating templates, I like to use the grids and this just helps when aligning the objects. All right, we are now building the foundation. So let's start to add some headers in there so that we can start to create a layout. Now here we're going to create some meeting notes. So the first section will be previous action items. And I always recommend just using these predefined styles. There are a ton of different options here. I'm going to go ahead and select heading two, and this will just create consistency on your templates. Now we are going to add a table beneath this header. So let's first start off by typing the column name and then simply pressing tab and that creates a table for us. I'm going to name the second column completed and you can simply tap through to add more columns. And then once you have your desired number of columns, you can simply press enter and that is going to go into rows. And then now we can just tab through until we have the desired number of rows. Once everything is in there, then we can adjust this column using these grid lines as a guidance. And once that is done, I'm just going to change the color of this text. We will take a look at that in just a moment. Moving on to one of my favorite features in OneNote, we are just going to add a heading here for attendees. Then I'm going to stylize that. And now for some fun, we are going to head up to this draw tab. And let's say that all of our meetings are hosted in this boardroom with a square table. If we just hold it at the end there, then it snaps to shape. And we can now add some chairs so that we can easily visualize who was in that meeting going to select these shapes, drag them down to create some space. All right, let's now go ahead and add an image beneath this my to do section. So from the insert tab on the ribbon, I'm going to select pictures. I've got a file on my computer, but you have some other options there. And let's go ahead and add this image of Rue so that she can cheer me on on my to do list. For images, we also have a great feature in OneNote where we can set the picture as a background. Just note that if you do plan on using this email copy of page feature, that when images are set to the background, they are removed. However, if you right click that image and select set picture as background again, it's going to remove it from the background. And then if you want to email that copy, then those images do attach to the email feature. While in this email here, I just wanted to highlight the color of that text. So here we have that completed text, but we made it white text color. And obviously this background's white, so it is not visible. So that is one reason to be mindful of the colors that you choose and make your text. A another example is if you head to the view tab on the ribbon and change the background to dark mode, once again, that white text has now reverted to dark and we're not able to see it on the background. So just be mindful when you are changing the color of your text. And if you are enjoying this video, then I would absolutely love it if you could please give it a thumbs up as it really helps it get traction in YouTube. And once you are happy with your template, then we can just go ahead and change that back to regular view and remove those grid lines. From here, we can now go to insert and select page templates. From the bottom here, we will see save current page as a template. So if we select that, we will give it a name. And this little checkbox here 
set as default template for new pages in the current section. Let's go ahead and click that. Now, if we go control N, we will get a new page and that has automatically defaulted to this page template. Then if we go to a new section, we can access that template under insert and then page templates once again. And you'll see here that these are all of the templates that are available within OneNote, starting with this top section, which is my templates. And you'll see here that that video meeting template that we just created is right there. Below here, OneNote and Microsoft have created a several other templates at your fingertips and they are grouped by category. So for example, if you wanted to select this history class notes, then you can even use that template. And for example, if you didn't like this background image, then we can do that trick once again to remove it from the background. And then you could save this as a new template. And as a little bonus tip, let's say that you create a notebook and it has all of these sections and all of these pages and it is the ultimate template. Then if you want to basically make a template of that notebook, we can first head on up to file. And then here you're going to see all of your active notebooks. And from the settings drop down menu of the notebook that you want to make as a template, we can select properties. And from here, we will locate where this OneNote file is stored. In our case, it's in operations, which is a SharePoint site, and it's under site assets. If yours was in OneDrive, then it would be stored in OneDrive. Here I'm in the SharePoint site for the operations team. And under site contents, then we can navigate to site assets. From here, we can select the notebook. And from the ellipses, we can say copy to. We will copy it to the same location, select keep both, and we will just rename this notebook. From the ellipses, we will select rename, and then we will just give that a new name. So once again, if you haven't already, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to learn more OneNote tips, then I would highly recommend checking out this video here. It combines all of the features in OneNote into one simplified video with strategies on taking better notes for retention and increased productivity. In that video, we also go over the Cornell method, which was derived in the 1950s and is still a very common note taking template. So we have cues on the left hand side, your main notes in the middle pane, and then summary at the bottom. In this example, I added a to do notepad here just to easily identify my to do's. And then as well, that similar looking uh, boardroom meeting style for the attendees. And here we have Rue wearing some pineapple glasses because she is prepared for our meeting. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. We will catch you in the next video.